It's Thursday, 11th of October. I just give this little stinker a bath. Take her down here. Ugh. There she is. Come on, baby. Just give her a bath. She's a little dirty. Not bad. It's a really nice day out today. I got this long sleeve flannel shirt on because her claws are just very, very sharp. But I gave her a bath and she, she, she didn't even fight me, not one bit. I mean, she just sat there and, and took it. I filled the tub up about, eh, about that far with water. And I put some mane and tail shampoo in there. <clears throat> and I splash it up on her and let her walk around. She tries to climb out a couple times, but uh, then she just, she knows that she's going to have a bath. So, And then I uh, put a good handful of main tail shampoo in my uh, hand, rub it over, and I scrub her. I scrub her little head and her feet and her, her belly and her pouch, her tail and her legs and everything. Just get her all sudsed up. I just keep splashing a little bit of water on there, keep her nice and wet and soapy. <clears throat> and I let her walk around in the tub for a while. And, you know, something I, I didn't think these these guys shed, but they do. They do shed a little bit. I uh, get some hair off on my hands, and it's, I don't know, maybe it's the season or something. I'm not really sure, but, yeah, she's she definitely she definitely shedding a little bit. Little fuzz balls. But anyway, it's my little girl, and uh, she likes, she loves her ears rubbed. And, um... I give her a bath, and she's all, mm, she's all nice and clean. Her, her little, her little paws were kind of dirty looking, so I let her out in the grass and stuff, you know, and she likes to dig around and stuff, but, <clears throat> so she was a little dirty, a little musty, so I give her a bath. They don't stink. I mean, now I had COVID in 21, and, uh, after that, uh, my taste isn't real great and, and my sense of smell isn't good. I can smell certain things, but some things I couldn't, uh, I can't. Um, I, I didn't smell her and nobody that's been around her or pet her or held her said they, they can smell a scent on her. So I don't, I don't think they do smell, but um, I do like to keep her clean. And uh, I was giving her a bath every week because I was taking her to work on Marsupial Monday. But uh, I don't do that no more. I'm retired now, but um, <clears throat> I still give her a bath. But it's been actually a couple months since I give her a bath. So uh, in the wintertime, I don't give her a bath too often because uh, I keep her outside until it gets, you know, cold. And if it, if it, gets, if it gets below 50 degrees or below, then I, uh, I bring her in the house. But she's, uh, she loves her little condo. But yeah, she'll she'll stay wet for a while. She uh, and once I put her back in her condo, she'll uh, she'll start licking herself and drying herself off, I guess. But she's just such a just such a good little girl. I mean, I mean, I, I'm scrubbing her face and her head and her, you know, her, her, you know, not getting any soap in her eyes. And just look at me. I mean, I'm just I'm just touching her all over her face, and you know, she doesn't. She could turn and bite on bite me so easy. But she doesn't, she, I guess she just knows. I mean, I've had her, she literally would fit just right in the palm of my hand when I first got her and I fed her by hand. I thought, she, I didn't think she was gonna make it, you know? Thought she was gonna die. She just, like this, she couldn't move. She couldn't, she could, she could move, but she couldn't, she couldn't step, she'd fall over. And it was scary there for a while. And, you know, like I said in my other videos, I was gonna let her go and uh, out in the wild. And then I see these fricking hawks and, and stuff flying overhead and I know that it, she'd just be an easy meal for them. You know, they just come down with them talons and pick her up and take her to their nest and gut her and eat her. And I, I just, I just couldn't stand to see that. So I, uh, I decided to keep her. I've had her for 15 months now. Last uh, July of 22, I think I got her and, and uh, had her ever since. She's, she's part of the family. And everybody knows it. Everybody comes over, wants to see, hey, is Lucy eight yet? Can we watch her eat? And, yeah, you can watch her eat. Everybody loves to watch her eat. But she's uh, she's just a little, just a, just a gorgeous little creature. Look at her. I mean, she's just so precious. 
Not like a dog or a cat, obviously, but it's just fun to pet her and love her up. But this is her sleepy time now. She she wants to get down because she wants to go. She wants to go back into her her uh, nesting box. But <clears throat> I just thought I'd share share her morning bath. I I was gonna try to take a picture uh, a video of me giving her a bath, and I guess I'll figure it out sometime. But I just don't I just don't want to take the chance of dropping my phone in the tub. But anyway, it's my little girl here. She's uh, Charlie gave me the evil eye when I come in the house to get the uh, when I went in to get the uh, the shampoo and the towels and stuff out of the garage, and I uh, ran the water in the tub. And he he's giving me this like, oh, what are you doing? But then he's seen me bringing her in. He said, uh oh, haha, it's her turn. So he didn't uh, didn't say nothing. The tail is strong. A strong tail. Look at her hanging out there. She climbs around on me sometimes when she tries to climb down. <coughs> she'll stick her, uh, she'll stick her tail right in my damn nose. She's a she's a funny little marsupial. Yeah, she likes to cuddle. She's my little cuddle bug. Anyway, I'll keep you guys. I just thought I'd thought I'd show you the show the little video after I after I give this little stinker a bath. She's all clean and she smells good. Her smells good, don't you? Yeah. Anyway, you guys have a great day and thanks for watching us.